Yo, what up, everyone? Press the priest here. I queued up with Big Creamer, a warrior who happens to main as a priest at 2.5k rating, and he was happy to coach me. My main weaknesses are my positioning and my mana management. For an example of this, let's look at a game versus warrior shaman that we had in the bag, but that I almost threw because I play aggressive for too long. I will be posting additional examples later. Please let me know if this was useful to you and feel free to leave any suggestions in the comments. Alright, this warrior shaman. My main concern is that they push in on me and that they kill me. So big creamer is going to lead and then I follow. By the way, I believe they can just win by tunneling big creamer. Because the purge and wind fury, they're just going to out pressure and out mana us. But that's not their tactic. So here there's not much for me to do, but stay max range and keep Big Creamer topped on both HP and buffs. The warrior charges me, so now my job is to help do damage on the warrior so the shaman can drink. And also pull the warrior LOS from the shaman, so the warrior has to choose between death or allow me to drink. The warrior doesn't want to die, so I drink. Here I mount because maybe I can score a mountain fear on the shaman, but the shaman is super far away, so I just dot the warrior. And I kind of waste my death on the tremor. Positioning and camera management here could be better. But I eventually realized that the best position is the left side tomb that is the farthest away from the shaman and closest to Big Creamer. Here I'm healing with flash, but that could be greater because I'm far away from the shaman. The warrior charges me. I run to the tomb too early. If the shaman is not coming, I could just stay where I am. I run back to Big Creamer to allow to intervene. So now I just gotta pump the warrior to prevent the shaman from drinking. I pop my fiend on the sweeping strikes, which was a mistake. I won the tremor because I'm not paying attention and I didn't see Big Creamer feared already. We have great pressure on the war and we probably could have killed if I would have played aggressive, but I go for the safe play and mana burn instead. I probably should have dispelled the bloodlust of the shaman too to make pummeling easier. Here I consider pushing in on the shaman but it seemed risky so I pull back. I should dispel the earth shield as soon as the shaman goes to drink. It heals for roughly 1k to 1.2k per charge, that's before MS, and it costs slightly more mana than the spell. The moment I am at the tomb and the warrior is pulling back I should be drinking, instead I play aggressive. Fortunately Big Creamer tells me to drink and I'm able to correct my mistake. I top Big Creamer and go drink again. Big Creamer has to go inside and stop the drinks, so I stop drinking, so I'm in a good position to help him. I try to reposition to maybe burn the Shaman, but the Warrior stops me. The Shaman is drinking, so I pressure the Warrior to try to stop it. Here I start wanding, while I should be drinking instead. I correct and drink again. Here I use my globals badly. The first global on the dot is fine, but the second one should be dispel earth shield. And then I pull and renew before shield, which is also bad because shield reflects damage. So that's the spell that's gonna build the maximum pressure. But it doesn't matter because we won the mana war. 